Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 2 or episode 1 depending on how you look at it of making better YouTube videos or whatever I end up calling it. I don't really want to commit to a name just yet. We'll do that together once we have a few more episodes under our collective belt. If this is your first time here, you can learn a little bit about what we're doing by watching this video right here. And for those of you who have been here before, welcome back and let's get down to business. So we're gonna kick things off with the most basic of tutorials, setting up your channel. But there are some really handy tips in this video, so I suggest even if you have already set up your channel, there may be a few tidbits in here that might interest you, so I encourage you to stick around to the end of the video. Now, I'm not going to bore you with the details of setting up your channel because when you first do set up your channel, YouTube actually walks you through most of the features. So what I'm going to do is concentrate on at least what I consider the most important bits about setting up your channel. So we'll kick things off with your channel banner. And this is really important because your channel banner is the one unique space which you can customize across all platforms. So whether you're viewing your channel on a computer monitor, a tablet, or even on your phone, the banner is the one constant branding opportunity that you have available to you. So spend some time designing something that looks good on all platforms. It's also a great opportunity to include your channel name and maybe even a call to subscribe. Get yourself some photo editing software and learn how to use it and take your time designing a banner that stands out. Remember, when people see one of your videos and they click through to your channel, you literally have a few seconds to impress them. There are millions of channels on YouTube, so this is your opportunity to stand out. YouTube has put together a template that you can use to create your artwork so that everything fits in all of these different platforms, including televisions. And I've put a link to that template down in the description below. Next, we have a profile picture. And not too long ago, a profile picture wasn't overly interesting. However, YouTube now places your profile picture, or avatar as it's called, beside each and every comment that you make. So this is an opportunity to put something together that again sticks out a little more than just the boring blue man that they give you by default. The channel trailer. A good channel trailer can get you a ton of subscribers. When we posted ours over at Clean My Space, we effectively doubled our daily subscriber count. No joke whatsoever, it's made a huge difference for us and it can for you too. What is a channel trailer? Well, when viewers come to your channel who haven't subscribed yet, they get to watch your channel trailer. It's a quick teaser video which highlights all of the cool stuff that you do on your channel. I'll post a link to the one that we made for Clean My Space in the description box below. Plus, I'll put a few other cool trailers that I've come across in the past little while. Now, I think I'm going to put a separate video together which will just focus on making a channel trailer. That's actually how important it is. But for now, just heed this advice. Take the time to shoot a video specifically to use as a channel trailer. It's well worth the time. Finally, we're going to talk about in-video programming. Essentially, in-video programming allows you to overlay a subscribe button, which you can see down here, and it allows you to overlay a featured video, which you can kind of see down here-ish. The featured video overlay is great for driving traffic to a particular video, and the subscribe button does a really good job of turning viewers into subscribers. The best part about the subscribe button is that you can actually use a customized channel image. So while normally it would be your profile picture, that's what it defaults to, it defaults just to your profile picture, but you can actually create a custom specialized image just for this little button right here and it can end up serving its purpose a lot better because you can make something specific to it being a subscribe button. So there you have it. I hope that helps. YouTube has put together a document which it calls its YouTube playbook, I think it is, and I've linked it down below. It covers a bunch of information on setting up your channel and some of the features which I didn't get a chance to cover because I am going to go right into shooting my next video which is going to be about cameras. Everything from a simple point and shoot like this Canon power shot to, oh, I don't know, something like a Canon 5D Mark II which they sometimes use to shoot television shows with. So I will show you the advantages and disadvantages of each plus a bunch of other cameras in between. I'll do my best to make it 
as quickly as possible and get it out there as quickly as possible for you. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It gives me reason to live. Thank you for watching and we will catch you on the flip flop.